Ain't that right, little? You want to come say hi? Come here, little guy. I'll coax you. Come on. There you are. Kiss. I love you. Yeah, you good boy. My dad's the best. All you fucking marks that talk bad about him, you're going to go to hell. Feeding time. Yo, welcome to Feeding Time. The big guy Ryback coming back at you from Casa de la Big Guy here in Sin City. Uh, I've got uh, quite the fiesta in front of me today, the, a vegan fiesta at that. Um, from, I, I had Juan's Flaming Fajitas. So they're closed on Mondays and I always do these videos on Mondays and, and for, my, for my big carb day. And with yesterday being Father's Day, I, I tried to make reservations there uh, a couple days prior. They, this place is so popular. Hey, little guy. You coming in early for an early appearance? No, you got to come over on this side. Come over here. Wait, who's that? You guys are coming in right away? Come here. Sophie, pop up. There you are. Give a... Hey. Say hi to everybody. Come here, little guy. Huh? Move the rice and beans, Dad, so the people can see my pretty little face. Look it, huh? You guys are coming in right from the beginning. We're gonna go get a coffee and a pup cup in a little bit. They love their car rides. I gotta take them three to four times a week on that. Usually I think Monday through Thursday, I take them for a car ride, let little guy and Sophie, they stick their little heads out the window and uh, I go get my coffee and then, uh, yeah. So anyways, we get back to the, to the, to the, to the story. The, uh, they're, they're just jam-packed. They've got multiple locations. They built one up where I'm at in Vegas. And this place is not like a lot of restaurants up here. So it is just jam-packed. That and the pub right next to it. People just day drinking, just and night drinking, just 24-7 it looks like. Every time I go by. So anyways, the uh, I put an order in over the phone. And uh, uh, apparently, nice young woman working uh, a la carte. Uh, for those of you that, that don't know, is when you order an item in, individual, individually. And uh, I had ordered, uh, Roger Dodger, my dad, wanted a, a beef uh, taco, crunchy beef taco, uh, and, and, and beef enchilada, two, two combo platter with rice and beans, which these are like the rice and beans right here. That was all that he got. I wanted two of these guacamole vegan burritos. They got no cheese or sour cream. You could order vegetarian or vegan. So I got two of these a la carte I was supposed to get. And then I wanted two tacos, which these are the crunchy ones. These are all from yesterday, guys. So they're not in their best condition. They've been in the fridge all night and that's not quite crunchy. Um, but I had it while it was crunchy yesterday. So I ordered two a la carte tacos. But for one of my tacos, so two a la carte burritos and, and one a la carte taco, and then one taco I wanted with just rice and beans on the side, right? We went over this order a few times over the phone. I thought we were pretty good. Uh, I should have had her read me the total over the phone. She didn't. And uh, they called me and sent me the text when everything was ready. And uh, when I was going to go head over to my dad's and, and bring them over some stuff and, and hang out and eat with them and bring the food to go to go eat over at my dad's. They, they go to charge me nearly $90. And I said, that seems a lot for what I ordered. And uh, granted, I know they're popular. Um, and, and the girl, and I'm looking at the bag, is sitting on the, on the thing ready to go. And it's this massive bag of food. It looks like to feed a family of 10. And this is just for me and my dad. And I'm not, like, I wasn't trying to, like, eat, like, a ton. I didn't know how big their burritos were. If I would have known they were, like, this good, like, I would have just gotten one, but still, it was a la carte. Uh, the girl had rang up comp like plat like combos for everything, so she gave me rice and beans with everything. She gave me we have all we had all this Mexican soup. Uh, she gave me I had four tacos, so each order of tacos came with two, not one a la carte. She didn't charge me for an a la carte taco. She gave me taco combinations with rice and beans. So we had all these extra rice and beans, all these extra soups. Then they give you a big bag of chips and salsa with it too. That was great. No issues with that. I left that with my dad. I just wanted a few of those. 
in which I could, I, could, I could comment and leave a rating for their chips and salsa, not from this video, but from yesterday. With it. And I just go, how am I gonna turn this, this negative into a positive? The lady knocked off like $10, the, there was a, the manager came over and she's like, well, you could just take the food, we're just gonna throw it out. And I'm like, okay. And I'm just thinking, you know, I've been wanting to do a food review on this place, but they're always closed Mondays. So I go, you know what, I'm gonna take a negative, turn it into a positive like I always do. And I'm just gonna do my, my feeding time video on it uh, the following day. Right, and uh, I didn't eat that much. I just wanted a little bit, so I, I ate two of the tacos, one of the burritos, I ate one of the rice and beans, and one of the Mexican soups, and, uh, and that was it. And that was it. And then a few chips and dip just to try it. I was like, okay. So uh, here we are. Welcome. And uh, with that, guys, I'm gonna dig in. I'm starving. This is gonna be pretty messy. I probably should have got a fork and knife for the burrito. Eh, I guess it's a little better if it's sloppy. <laughs> That's what she said. And uh, let's just dig in. We've got a lot going on. Just at 70 laps, wearing a sweet collar and elbow, don't trust anyone shirt. They've got, I love their shirts too, by the way, even though I love my Feed Me More merch. I'm waiting for them to send me 4Xs. I'm a 4X guy. Look, I don't know if you freaking jacked I am, but I'm, I'm looking pretty damn good these days. 70 laps of 70. That's right, 7-0 in the pool today. Record, PR. Just keeps getting better and better. We got here some rice and beans. We're just gonna go ahead and mix these up. This is, I'm, no doubt, no doubt, this, this food, because I know from yesterday what I ate, I don't know what they put in it, if they mix it with a little bit of laxatives or what, but uh, it hits hard and it hits fast. Just so you guys know, that's part of the review. I feel like I wouldn't be doing you guys a service if I didn't tell you that. And for those of you that still don't understand what I mean, you're gonna be shitting pretty quickly after you eat this Mexican food. That's what I mean. I mean, from the moment that you eat this, probably within 60 to 90 minutes, you're gonna feel it building up inside your intestines, inside your stomach, and you're gonna go run in there and you're gonna shit all over the place, okay? Just be prepared. Ain't that right, Lou? You wanna come say hi? Come here, little guy. I'll coax you up, come on. There you are. Kiss. I love you. Yeah, you good boy. My dad's the best. Oh, you fucking marks that talk bad about him. You're gonna go to hell. I appreciate that little guy. You can always judge a man by how he loves his dogs, right? You're goddamn right, you can. Okay. He's just being fake in front of the camera. He doesn't really love him. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's being done. We'll start off with one of the rice and beans. which I am sure is a big culprit of, of having to go to the bathroom pretty quickly. Man. Oh, I love a good carb day. Vegas weather's been, yesterday it only got up to 80 something. And for June, middle, middle, past the middle of June, unheard of. Today is only 95, so nice out right now. And like early morning and nighttime, it's cool. Just like the perfect temperature. But then it's good back in the hundreds tomorrow, the rest of the week, I think. But we, we get, I mean, I'm used to the heat here, but we cherish those days. Like today, it was nice doing laps in the pool because it's not scolding hot, even though the water is always cooler, right? I tell you though, it's nice having a pool. I never understood it because when you're a kid, you just play in the pool. But like for me in the summer and having it, after like hard workouts, before I go shower, just running and jumping in there to let your body temperature cool off. It really, really is a nice thing to have because it, uh, you know, because sometimes too, after you shower, like if you go do the sauna after a hard workout, you sweat. Like I sweat like just profusely. Even, even you guys know you could take a cooler shower, but I'm an idiot. I take hot showers still. So I need to cool my body temperature off out with something else because I don't do it in the shower. Oh yeah, more heat. Feed me more heat. All right, 
one rice and beans down. Let's get in, let's try one of these, what used to be crunch. Oh, these are demolished. These are gonna be, I ripped the box too so you guys could see it because they give you these boxes that aren't camera friendly. This is not gonna work. Oh, Jesus. Ah, shit. Oh, thank God it fell on the table. I thought it fell all over my my shirt. Nothing worse than being a grown man and going around food stains on you. I got so embarrassed the other day. I'd eaten something and didn't realize I'd got food all over my shirt. And I'm walking my dogs around the block looking like a giant baby. And the, one of the neighbors was stopping and talking to me. And so I had a conversation, didn't realize... They're probably like looking like Jesus, like this guy, like does he, Jesus. It was, and I like, I look down as I'm walking, oh my God, there's food all over my shirt. You piece of shit. Luckily it wasn't in public or anything, but and I tried to, I tried to take care of myself. That Ryback really let himself go. She is sure. So these tacos, I'll say they don't have a good, they don't have a lot of, of, of vegan and vegetarian options there, but they do have the menu. They do have a small section. And I'm going to be rating these off of what yesterday when it was fresh. So, it wouldn't be fair, right, with that. It still tastes absolutely great. But, like, the tacos, it's lettuce, guacamole, and beans, I believe. They don't have... They didn't have, like, plant-based meats or anything there, which I wish they would. Maybe they will in time. Middle of the summer, nice ice cold lemon lime twist of Zevia hits the spot. We're about to hit three million on TikTok. Appreciate all the love and support over there. Ryback TV has been really slow. We're about to hit four hundred two thousand, but it's going up really slow. It's not your guys's fault. It's it's just it is what it is. But I'm very optimistic. You all see, I've done my podcast, The Ryback Show, and talked about, you can watch those on, on here. You can see there's even clips of me just talking about the Vince McMahon WWE stuff. Everything's going to be fine. And uh, I can sit back now. They have my, our revised settlement. But I proceeded with the trial for the Ryback trademark, which... I'm, I'm, we are beyond confident that I'm going to win and which they don't want that to happen. So I believe they're going to settle at some point and, uh, within the next five months, right around there. And, but I'm not giving them, I gave them five months of extensions and they, they fucked me again and, uh, playing games. And so we just said no more. It's, we're just going to go win it and, uh, try to give you the benefit of the doubt. You guys just don't fucking learn your ways. So, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. They're either going to settle or I'm going to win it. Either, in either way, I'm going to get to keep it. But they have much bigger problems right now. And uh, like I said, th this is... Those of us that work there that know already go the writings on the wall of what's going on unless the shadiest of shadiest things goes down uh but they are going to find some very very bad things very bad things and that's not me blowing smoke up your ass if you've watched this channel and watched me from day one i've been completely honest and transparent 
Everything I have said has been true, and you're going to see. Now we finish it. But I said in the video, an innocent man, a man who knows that they're not going to find anything else on top of what they've already found, he doesn't step down. He steps up. He doesn't step down. And they're doing it in pieces, and you're going to see other people get removed in pieces so that it's not a sudden change all at once. And things are going to start being leaked out, I'm sure. But an innocent man does not step down. That's all that common sense, and I already know, and you're going to see. And for those of you that say, he's still head of creative, but this just started. Just let it, just let it run its course. And we'll see where things stand at the end. <clears throat> I think though they're going to be, my guess is, <clears throat> if this goes the way that I think it's going to go, I believe they're going to, it's going to, they're going to be forced to sell or Vince is going to, his best option is going to be to sell perhaps sooner than what they wanted. And, um, and that's where we'll see the real change. And this is going to, my thing is they have to finish my thing too <clears throat> in the course of a sale they need, cause they need the rights to my past for my name in the past, what we need all that situated and organized. So, that favors me with my deal that with this playing out to get my stuff out of the way. <clears throat> and, uh, and we'll see. I'm very, very optimistic and, and positive, though. And I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing, keep getting stronger and healthier and uh, keep re keep growing my business. And it's all going to it's all going to work itself out. So I thank you guys for all the love and support and uh, for all of you, those of you who have never doubted me and have, have believed in me, and I thank you, because I've, I've never lied. I have no reason to. It doesn't benefit me one bit. And uh, it's because of the way things that have happened. And I believe I've been put in this position to have the courage to, to speak up in a business where a lot of people don't. And uh, you're going to see. You're gonna, the stuff they found is... is not even bad compared to what they're going to find. If they're truly doing a thorough investigation. I even had somebody message me that's kind of in the know of all this. And I wouldn't go this far yet. <clears throat> because I don't have the information. But they go, do you find it odd that two former referees that were there for a lot of, for a long period during a lot of shady times, I'm not saying the referees were shady, and Dave Hepner and, and, and Tim White, Tim White, I knew personally, great, great guy. And as you see from all the, the kind messages everyone is putting out, but they go, do you find it odd that two of them had passed away within days of all this coming out? And I go, well, I don't know the situation. I go, I didn't see any, uh, what, what, what the cause of death was on anything. And I did not know, I don't know their health status personally. So I go, I don't know. I said, it will be interesting though, if more people start kind of disappearing, then, then I go, there may be, I go, as of now, I go, that would be kind of, I don't know. But I do, I go, it is, I go, I did, I did notice, I go, man, two former referees in here, <clears throat> within days, but I'm sure, and they were older and had health issues. And, and so, like I said, if I go up to other people, then, then yeah, maybe that's not so crazy then, right? But I'll never jump the gun on something like that because it's not, don't have the information. But I think they're gonna find NDAs for so many people with that are in the company some that aren't anymore that have passed away. I think they're going to find a lot.
the truth always wins. It always wins, even if it takes time. <clears throat> so this burrito, It was supposed to be their vegetarian burrito and it was supposed to come with all this other stuff and I got no cheese and no sour cream on it. And I added guacamole, which they give it to you on the side and I put on the top. It tastes like the, the, the burrito is just beans and a tortilla. And so I don't know, I don't believe they got that correct. That I thought it was supposed to have like tomatoes and a few other things. Right. With that said, though, the guacamole beans, and it honestly is really good still, but it, it's, it wasn't what I was quite expecting. It's good they at least have some options, though, for people. Granted, it's not as, as good as what I would like. It's better than nothing, though, right? Final rice and beans, mi amigos. It's a big carb day. I'm probably not gonna have too too many more carbs. I'll have I'll have one smaller meal <clears throat> later on. <clears throat> I gotta go do the sauna too later. That do on my on my day. I do my pool once a week. I do my laps. I try to do all sorts of different conditioning to keep my body just working. And I try to expand upon what I've did the week before or at least consistently keep it just going up in small increments. Whereas like I started my laps, whatever week it was, I did 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and then 70. And like, it, 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 it gets you. My neighbor's just probably looking out their window like, Jesus, big gorilla just going swimming in the pool. And then just freaking going, kicking. What is it? What's this one? There's the breaststroke and then the the, the racing, the overhand. Well, there was racing. They do it. Like, the over, well, I can't remember. But I, I do the two different, I do two different strokes mainly. This one and then the this one. Someone could leave that in the comments. Not a professional swimmer. No joke though, I did win a lot of contests as a kid. We had a Fremont swimming pool, swim club. The belly flop contest and the races every year, mine. There was one year when the neighbors down the street beat me in the belly flop contest. I was pissed, I was really competitive. I've always been, beat the shit out of them later. We got in a fight. We used to fight all the time though when I was kids. But the fight was made about him beating me because I thought it, it was the, the crowd was clearly in favor of me. And I, I was the previous winner for like five years or whatever it was. But he, they, they said he was a small little runt. They just didn't have the impact of a big guy like me. So we just did what two normal kids would do. We fought. It beat his ass. So right back rules. But... <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It was that was that was I think it was normal when you were kids, at least when I was. We'd like play like games if we like one of us like got mad at each other in the game, we'd just fight. I remember one time there was a kid it was trouble. He was up from a few blocks up. So I got me and my posse and him and his posse met and everyone was waiting like a bunch of little shit talking and then we just went into it. I threw a karate kick and just fucking floored him. I don't know where, I think I saw it on something on TV. I'd never had any training of kicking at that point. And uh, I, I threw some sort of karate kick that I saw on TV and I was so, everybody like was so scared because it, it knocked him down. Nobody wanted to fight after that. It was, uh, it was a proud moment. You can learn a lot just from watching. I learned jujitsu before I ever went and did jujitsu. I watched the Gracie DVDs while drinking beer when I was real after my stem cells because I couldn't work out for a few months. So I would do like beers or, and, and just watch it at night. And I like, I, I got like, some, like a good like set of moves down 
And then I went into the, the jujitsu and they're like, you've never done this before? I go, no, but I, I had watched. Overpower people, the, top, the Americana, that's my go-to. Just overpower people, just bully them into that Americana. I'll snap your arm, tap. Oh man. This is a lot of food. I'm gonna, this is gonna, the mo I'll tell you when it's gonna hit me. It's gonna hit me when I start drinking that coffee. I might as well just go get the coffee and then just come home and just go sit on the toilet. And drink coffee on the toilet. <laughs> Where are you going, little guy? I hear you. I hear you. Where are you at? He knows it's about time for him to go. He gets, he's a very needy dog. Like he has, he has to go for a walk every night. He has to go get his coffee and get his whipped cream pup cup in the afternoon. He has to play his games later when, when uh, my mother's home and takes care of him. Mom, you want to say bye to everybody before we wrap up? Come here. Give me a hug. Come here. Come say goodbye to everybody before I do my review. Here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Up. Oh. Look at that face. You a cute little Boston. Mm -hmm. I know. <clears throat> you good? All right, give me a kiss. The, uh, all right, done. He will whine though when he wants attention. <clears throat> All right, Juan's flaming fajitas. The uh, guacamole tacos. When those I got those on a crunchy shell yesterday, those were actually really really good. I wish I would have gotten they they did give me chips and salsa. Uh, I do like their salsa. It's not my favorite. Uh, it was really good though. Still, their chips and salsa. I wish their their chips are not that salty, which some people may think. The I wish they had a little little more sodium on the chips. I think the salsa would have would have been better if the chips weren't the chips were a little bland. Um not bad though, but I've had much better chips and salsa in my opinion. Now maybe going in there, I don't know, maybe sometimes there's a difference between taking food to go and eating it in the restaurant. That is a thing. So but the uh so I do think that the tacos, I wish I would have had some salsa on them. And I didn't even put any on it yesterday, but it that would have added to those uh, I'm gonna give those a nine, a nine point. I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. I just think they're missing a little. It was still good, but there wasn't a lot, right? The uh, the the vegetarian slash vegan burrito, if you get it with no sour cream and cheese, um, again, I don't think it had everything on it that it was supposed to have. Uh, I'm gonna give that a, a, an eight point eight out of ten. Still really good, very filling, good size, just not. Not as much as I would have wanted. I saw their menu. I think a lot of their regular food they have there probably is absolutely amazing. But the, the vegan stuff options lacking a little bit. Uh, the rice and beans were great. Rice and beans. Um, I'll give those a nine nine point nine point four out of ten. Those were really good. It, it's rice and beans, you know. Um, and uh, the chips and salsa from yesterday. I'm gonna give those a, a nine a nine point nine point three out of 10. Really good, but not that, just it, not like a Mikhail Vegas or El Burrito here in town is really good chips and salsa too. Uh, I like the chips to be a little salter, saltier personally, so. And with that guys, that's, that will do it for another edition of Feeding Time here from home, Big Guy's House. And as always, please check out my Feed Me More Nutrition Available on feedmemore.com. You could save 20% with discount code feedingtime20, feedingtime20. 
premium supplement sweet stevia and monk fruit no harmful artificial sweeteners or colors vegan friendly for all people men and women feed me more.com we have all the ryback merch up on there guys all sorts of different accessories and different things and uh so check all that out and uh other than that until next time my friends stay hungry feed me more Hey Rybackers, don't forget to hit that like button, smash that subscribe, and shell shock those notifications for the best supplements on the planet with Feed Me More Nutrition and all the latest cool new Ryback merch. Visit FeedMeMobile.com.